hot off the press. Big news coming out of Snowflake, the AI data cloud company, with the release of the new survey data by MIT Technology Review Insights in partnership with Snowflake, digging into data strategies for AI leaders. To explore the insights further, I'm delighted to be joined in the studio by Barish Koltegin, head of AI at Snowflake. Barish, such a pleasure to be with you here today. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Looking forward to diving in. To start with, Barish, can you walk the audience through the parameters of the survey and what the findings tell us about the direction of the AI landscape? Well, in the survey, we asked uh, what are the most important things customers who are working with AI care about. And we found out that the biggest thing that they care about is governance, security, and privacy. A majority of them, 60% uh, of them said that that is the most important thing followed by uh, quality, you know, reducing hallucinations, and then of course cost. So that, that is the you know, most important part of the finding. And uh, we also asked about our customers' aspirations, what they'd like to get out of uh, AI. The most important thing is to increase productivity uh, and, and increase efficiencies. So that is the focus uh, for the time being. Of course, there is a lot of uh, opportunities with innovation that also comes up in the survey. Bearish. Great insights, thank you so much. Great to have a baseline, now let's dive in. When looking at the value organizations are hoping to get from generative AI, 72% of survey respondents said increased efficiency and 47% said better products or services. Is this in line with what you're hearing from customers and can you share some examples of how AI is helping with both areas? Absolutely. Uh, it is very much in line with what we're seeing. Um, for instance, we're working with a uh, global tech company who's uh, been able to create a, a chatbot that uses 700,000 pages of research uh, and make it available to their research organization. So instead of having this research be locked into all these kind of PDFs, now it's all searchable and super helpful for the research organization. So productivity gains from kind of research to you know, marketing and uh, you know, customer service, we're seeing all over. At the same time, uh, new products are, are also emerging. A lot of innovation is happening across the board. So we're working with customers on new products as well. Bearish, great to hear about the real example. The survey also digs into the importance of having a strong data strategy as the underlying foundation for AI innovation. How ready are most companies' data estates to support them in the race to generative AI value? Most customers will say they are relatively uh, ready and there's still a lot to do and, and, and our customers they acknowledge it. But a lot of our customers have been investing heavily in a data foundation and Snowflake has provided a strong data platform for our customers to invest in. From access controls to securing, governing their data, sharing their data securely. Uh, all of this is really important and it's a foundation. Uh, you know, AI feeds on data, so this is, uh, you know, this is our bread and butter. And by being able to run AI right next to the data, our customers can benefit uh, from all that investment. Great to hear, Bearish. When asked about some of the challenges with AI adoption, respondents noted that data governance, security, or privacy has been an obstacle for scaling. What are you seeing and what can organizations do to overcome this? Absolutely. So first and foremost, uh, a lot of organizations want to make sure that their um, AI strategy is approved. And the approval requires uh, you know, governance at the core and, and, and trust uh, at the core. What we've been able to do is by, again, running the AI right next to the data, able to achieve uh, security that satisfies our customers' needs. So that's number one, being able to secure the data and, and then trust uh, that uh, none of that data leaves the security boundary. Uh, we're also seeing a lot of our customers, of course, built on top of the access controls that they've been you know, building over the, over the previous years. A good example I'd like to think about is uh, you know, when customers are building an HR chatbot, for instance, and uh, somebody asks, who got promoted last week? it's important to get the right answer for the right user. Right. So being able to put in the access controls and being able to govern that data from the ground up is really important for our customers. Great example, thank you, Bearish. Data quality is another important topic for ensuring that AI is trustworthy. I know you've said in the past that AI accuracy is imperative for enterprises and anything less than 90% is simply unacceptable. How does data quality play a role in this and what can organizations do to provide reliable answers to end users? Oh, it is, a, it is of topmost importance for our customers. Uh, when they build these chatbots, for instance, they, they need to not hallucinate, they need to be right. super accurate. So we've been working really hard to make sure we provide platforms for our customers to be able to have these uh, you know, 
uh, AI systems that know when to answer the question uh, with high confidence, know when to ask for clarifications or reject uh, to, to answer because there's not enough uh, confidence. Uh, and th this is a part of what we've been able to offer with products like Cortex Search, Cortex Analyst, with a lot of focus on quality. I'm so glad we're going to get to some of the advancements in the AI data cloud a little bit later in this. But people often overestimate what AI will do in the short term and underestimate what it'll do in the long term. What are your predictions for the future of AI and where is the industry headed? There is a ton of opportunity. It, right now, we're starting with productivity gains. So there's productivity gains everywhere, you know, from customer service to being able to glean uh, a lot more insight from a lot more data. Um, so that, that's where we're starting. Um, the future uh, is even more exciting. AI not only can answer questions, but also start to take action with all the agentic systems that are being built. So super excited about the future. Bearish, now I want to bring it back to Snowflake. The last few months have been a very busy time for the AI data cloud with the releases of Snowflake Arctic, Snowflake Cortic Analyst, Snowflake Cortic Search, and many other features going GA. Speed of marketing is important, but quality still remains king. And Snowflake has the perfect combination of both. How does this differentiate Snowflake and set the stage for the AI Data Cloud's next chapter. We've built a lot of product over the last six months. We've been going incredibly fast. And that that uh, that is also something that uh, Sridhar brings, uh, you know, this level of excitement and, and dedication. And, and we've been executing uh, with that speed. When we think about our differentiation, we think about AI being easy, efficient, and trusted. We make it easy because we're running AI right next to the data. Uh, Focus on the quality and, and cost is where we bring the efficiency. And of course, everything within the boundary of the trust system. So that's kind of how we think about our differentiation. Well, Bearish, such a pleasure having you on Data Cloud now. Thank you so much. For the audience watching, how can they learn more? Well, the best way to learn more is they can go to snowflake.com to download the report. Um, they can also, if they'd like to dive in, uh, we have an engineering blog that uh, talks about the behind the scenes of how we build our products. Well, Bearish, thank you so much for joining me on DCN today. Oh, thanks for having me. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.